Welcome to our short service of prayers for pilgrims today. We normally have music here as well as part of this service, um, but they are all off having a well-deserved rest, resting their voices after a fortnight of intensive singing and delight for the rest of us. But welcome to you here today. May God give you rest and peace as we pray as St. David did, that we may be joyful, keep the faith, and be faithful in the little things of life. A prayer. God our Father, you gave St. David to the people of Wales to uphold the faith. Encouraged by his example, may we be joyfully hold, hold fast to the things which lead into eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a very short reading from Acts chapter 2. The disciples were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like a rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak. In her recently translated novel, Sweet Derussia, the award-winning Ukrainian author, Maria M Matios, writes of the life of an apparently simple girl. She was regarded as a holy fool in her orthodox religious tradition, one who had been touched by God and was sacred. She had been severely traumatized as a 10-year-old child in the Carpathians. Under brutal occupation by invading forces of Soviet Russia in the third quarter of the last century, she lost the ability to speak. She could no longer communicate through words. Her mother had died in dreadful circumstances while her father had been away, having been forced either to find food for the oppressors or be carted off to Siberia. When her father returned, Darussia was found clutching the body of her dead mother, unable to release her grip. The Lithuanian translator of Sweet Darussia described the book as a chronicle of Soviet tyranny in Ukraine. Written before the present war, it speaks exactly of the similar tragedy that we can see through various media outlets today. Now, when her father died, sweet Darussia would visit her father's grave, and it was here she found her tongue. She could only say the word, Daddy, but found in response that she heard his warmth. Maria Matios writes that she never knew how to be joyous, but at that time, a certain force raised Darussia to her feet, and she danced. She whirled between the graves, the tilted crosses, her skirt twirling in the air. Now her relationship with her father's grave became the place where she found new roots for her life as she went forward thereafter. The experience of the disciples after Jesus had died and then vanished at the ascension developed like that of Darussia, traumatized, hiding in a locked room, all the disciples heard the warmth of Jesus in the spirit, as it were. They were drawn to a new way of life. The theologian Walter Brueggemann has affirmed that if you start in stories and place, as the disciples might have, and become rooted in them, with that rootage secure, you can take off on flights of possibility. For their experience of Jesus now had given them a new picture of human being, leading them to a new experience of God. The very experience of Pentecost enabled a new harvest of fruitfulness when a new ability to communicate is found. And this is what was happening to the disciples. They were moved forward through further transition beyond the emptiness of the tomb and the disappearing ascension of Jesus into the physical warmth present in the spirit of risen Jesus. Such a transition happening for those first Christians becomes an experience we pilgrims today can share. 
And being here at the shrine of St. David, we might know our rootage is secure. And having come here, journeyed here to a greater or lesser extent, we can take off on flights of possibility as we continue forward. As Dorusia found when she entered into her marriage, the traditional wedding music she heard at the celebration had for her, as Matthias writes, a sobbing melody, a sudden stoppage of the heart, a jump to the other side of the world. It was to her grand music of the deepest spiritual turmoil, music which penetrated into her person unnoticeably and brought her into a new experience of human being. It was as if monochrome had turned to colour, or simple spoken alleluias had transitioned into new and exciting notes and tunes. And as I was prompted this week by a drink in a local cafe, new notes, as is the current jargon, can be introduced into old flavours, in this case by rhubarb and Sicilian lemons into a strong West African ginger drink. Even the drink was challenged to produce a new taste. Our rootage here in these stones of this shrine is made secure. And it is from here that we can travel on to our new experience of human being and a new experience of God at whose voice we can come alive. So let us now pray and be attentive to the presence of God with us. Gracious God, we thank you for the assurance of faith and for all those who have made faith the foundation rock on which to build their lives. Thank you for your light breaking through our darkness. Thank you for the faith that comes in times of doubt and fear. Thank you for the strength faith gives us to live confidently and positively, creatively and lovingly, that we may do justice to your love for us. Deliver us from self-interest, from economic chaos, from political disaster and the agonies of conflict. Bring your judgment to bear on us and establish your peace. Bless this cathedral and city community as it seeks to worship and serve here. And as we rest or go on our way, make us faithful in our littleness until our own light shines with your full splendour and light meets light in eternal joy and praise. Lead us to faith's perfection and love's consummation that your glory may fill our lives with endless joy. And so let us pray the prayer given to the church in the version and language of our choice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And a prayer of blessing as you stay a while or continue to visit and enjoy this holy place. Gracious God, awaken in us the zeal of your servant St. David, that we may joyfully journey with you in singleness of heart. And may the blessing of our gracious God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Live embraced by God with light, love, and peace within you. Amen.